Hi, I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. And in Colossians 3.16, we are encouraged to let the words of Christ in all their richness live in our hearts and make us wise. And when we live in God's word, it will live in our hearts and transform our lives. So this is your Quiet Time verse of the week. When you are in the heat of a trial, you need some clear direction what to do and how to do it. Well, I'm so thankful for the Word of God because God gives us everything we need to know. Here's some clear instruction for us in the heat of a trial, and it's found in Psalm 123, verses 1 and 2. Listen to these words. I will lift up my eyes to you, to you whose throne is in heaven, as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid look to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. In the heat of a trial, you need to look up to your God, but you must look persistently. Don't just glance and then run away. Don't just look in a fleeting kind of surface way. No. Instead, look expectantly and keep looking. As the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Oh, we must keep our eyes on the Lord. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Keep your eyes fixed on him till he shows you his mercy. That means you wait for his precious answer that will provide mercy for you. So, dear friend, in the heat of your trial today, remember Psalm 123, verse 2, and look to your God persistently, patiently, expectantly. You will experience his blessed mercy. And that is your Quiet Time verse for the week. I'm Katherine Martin, and this is Quiet Time Ministries. May God richly bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.